pissed at like the pay per view and like um I was like, yeah, okay, you know, I was like, we made a good decision. I was like, good. Yeah, I was like, she 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 made the right decision. So it's good she kind of like was like, no, I don't want to watch that because you know what? Forty bucks for that. Right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Project 24. My name is Adrian. I'm your host. Uh, tonight, the big announcement we were talking about. This is it. Well, well, oh. well. Well, well, well. Jacob, I'm... our new co host here. Buddy, how are you? I'm good. How about you, bud? I'm good, man. It's been a while. Like, how's, how's everything? You know, just. Uh, same old, same old. Just almost done school. That's good, buddy. I'm I'm glad to hear that. Just uh, school and sports, right? Just watching. Yeah, sports. school and sports. That's all I've been up that's to. That's good. Nothing wrong with that, buddy. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's good. That's good to have. Um, especially right now with what's going on, I'm happy that there's at least some sports to kind of distract us from you know, all right? the craziness that's going on and uh, before, you know, before drug forward. And <laughs> before sports, I was like bored as hell. Yeah, do you remember a year ago when they they clo- they they canceled all the sports and like uh, it was like what um, March three, four 9th? months? Was it March ninth yeah. or was it February? No, it was March. I think it was like uh, shit. It might have been March six thirteenth. I think. Eh, Maybe March ninth. I heard the subscriber will let us know anyway. Yeah, it was it was a weird time. Like I remember. Like the NBA was, I think, was the first one to like cancel their oh. season, and I was like, "Oh, damn, here we go." I and then everyone that. else kind of just followed that trend, and I was like, "Oh boy, this is gonna be a long yeah. quarantine, lockdown, whatever you want to call it." I was like, "Oh, geez." Well, then it was. Yeah. It came back in like June, July, I think, for for hockey and basketball, and then the, the oh. Jays MLB started in July. Not so, only that, yeah. we got the expansion draft coming up as well. Yeah, that's right for the Seattle Kraken. That's going to be interesting. I wonder which teams are going to protect which players and who's going to be out. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. And and Vegas aren't going to be in it as well. So Vegas is not going to be in it. I believe so. Oh, really? Oh well, Well, I guess. Hey, our subscriber will let us know. Yeah. Hey, if anyone, uh, if anyone could clarify us. Uh, that for us that would be cool that would be awesome but uh yeah let's get right into it buddy um so yeah i mean i know it was a week ago it was a week ago since uh the leafs got felino i know we were talking about that before we got on here but uh who's your winner of the trade deadline this year toronto <laughs> you think toronto they had a good trade deadline they they're looking yeah, good they're, for going into the playoffs from, buddy. from what i'm looking at they're going all yeah. in yeah they went all in for sure um obviously but acquiring really- riddich but for me, the biggest deal is the Mantha trade. Yeah, I honestly, I think that's a that's like um like we were saying before too, like that is a trade that um the the Capitals obviously paid a pretty hefty and like steep price for him, but it's like a high risk like in that sense, but like high reward because he's yeah. he's he's a phenomenal hockey player. Even he's I was I was actually surprised when I saw Detroit traded him. I think. I think it was. I think you showed me. You told me that uh, we were talking about. It. I was like, really? I was like, Mantha? Like, I know. Right? I was like, I thought he'd be one of the guys that would be staying there in the future. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, the guys like him and Larkin, you know, and Zadina, and like those kind of guys. But uh, that was, yeah, I was, I was shocked when I saw that Mantha trade. I bet, I bet he was too. He probably thought he was going to be part of the future. So, um, okay. yeah. For yeah. our subscriber in the comments. What do you guys think? Fleece or no fleece? Yeah. That's true. What do you think? Do you think uh, the Capitals won that trade or Detroit fleeced them? Put your opinions in the comment section. (laughs) Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. That was... He's been scoring goals for them, though. So, I mean... Yeah, exactly. He's making an immediate impact. So, that's good. Um... I mean, I... Man, I'm I'm jealous the Leafs got Foligno. I mean, again, a hefty price, though. (laughs) <laughs> hefty price uh giving up a first rounder yeah. for him but you know what he's 
he's a great. Here's the thing. On and off the ice, he's great. Here's the thing. He has one year left, so mm-hmm. he's probably gonna be doing what Thomas McCann has done. Yeah. Where he be a went rental. To traded, and then signed back to Montreal, basically. Yeah, so, he. But I heard too. So who knows what might happen in the off season. I've been hearing that too, actually. I heard Felino might just uh, be a rental for Toronto, and he's just going to go right back to Columbus in the in the off season. Kind of like again, just like what Placanitz did with the Leafs that time. I can Plus see he it. Got, he's got family in Columbus too, so. Yeah, he he said that uh, they're they're not making the trip with them. They're they're staying in Ohio because of the. Can't yeah. believe it. They're actually saying the Americans are actually saying this now, but. Because they're like, oh, the, the COVID. He said because of the COVID situation in Ontario. I was like, wow. Yeah. That was a year ago. And we'd be saying, oh, we're not going to America because of the high COVID cases, right? But now it's the opposite. It's like, well, yeah. well, how the table, how the turntables. <laughs> what well, yeah. you know? Facts, bro. Facts. I remember a year ago, we're like, wow, they have such high COVID cases. And then how now here we are. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think the winners from the 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 trade deadline sorry oh my god I'm trying to find the words uh again the Leafs for sure um Florida Panthers honestly like they added a lot for uh not an extremely high price they, they gave up some assets for like Sam Bennett like Brandon Montour was only like I think a third round pick but uh that was my sleeper pick actually was Sam Bennett that was my sleeper pick actually yeah uh, Sam Bennett, he's been he's been playing good for Florida though. He got like two assists in his debut yesterday. I think it was yesterday. He, yeah, made his debut with the team yesterday. He's got two assists. Uh, he's already making an immediate impact there. So, exactly. Uh, honestly, man, I I remember Sam Bennett back then. Uh, with Calgary, his draft, point. yeah, Calgary, yeah, and uh, Kingston Frontenac going back to then when I uh, saw him play Kingston in like the Canadian World Junior Team, oh, and I yeah. was like, wow. It's phenomenal. Um, you know what I mean? Like, like uh, yeah. they were comparing him. They were comparing him to Doug Gilmore in his oh, draft year. You know what? Can I? Yeah, buddy. If people can so, see it, Dougie. There you go. I like Dougie. Can you see it? Oh yeah, we can see that. It's, they compared for him to Doug Gilmore. For all you Leafs fans, there you go, Dougie Gilmore. That's right, buddy. I love Dougie, man. He he, uh, he played with my Habs too, so I uh, got the best of both worlds, you know. <laughs> oh, by the way, that picture's actually signed. So. Oh yeah. D- uh, did you like meet him, or how did you uh, get that? Um, my cousin. There's an interesting story because yeah. my cousin worked at Moxley, like Moxley. Uh huh. Uh huh. Somehow, Dougie Gilmore walked in. Oh no way. She got picture, and she got that sign. Not bad. That's that's pretty. And she gave it to me for a Christmas present. Oh, so, not a big deal, buddy. That's that's pretty awesome stuff there. Can't go wrong. It? Yeah, I know. I I they they compared him to Dougie, and uh, they thought again he was gonna be just like him. But uh, I remember the the draft combine that year. He oh, oh, he had a shoulder yeah. injury, and he couldn't even do one pull up. He tried. He couldn't do one pull up <laughs> because of his shoulder. Yeah, people were already concerned. Uh, he 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 uh, he came out like last year and talked about why that happened. He said, "Yeah, like I had a really bad shoulder injury prior to that draft combine, and yeah, and I, man, I don't know, man. Kind of, he's so he's yeah. skilled. He's got like he's got like uh he's he's got tools to be good. It's just I don't know why. Maybe maybe it just wasn't gonna happen in Calgary, right? Yeah, maybe it happens. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So my my picks uh. Who, sorry, Jacob. Who do you think is gonna win the the Stanley Cup? Or, sorry, not win the Stanley Cup. Who's or yeah, or or who do you think is gonna make the finals, going east and west? Not going. I'm probably gonna go biased. But... Biased, yeah. Go with the Leafs. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. They hey they, they got a good shot. Best shot they've had in the, years. I think. With the trader making, they're it look like they're going all in, no matter yeah. what. Oh yeah, they. This is the most aggressive I think they've looked in a while too at the deadline. Um, and here's giving another assets, you know. Here's another thing. Amazon's in the building as well. Sorry, what's that? Amazon's in the building as well. Oh, yeah. They're making an all or nothing series, so. Yeah, that's true, buddy. Um, 
How, how did you feel about the Riddich uh, trade, David Riddich? Uh, he, it, people it. say it's a steal, but it's kind of like a a depth player for me. Yeah. So it's, it's like a backup to a backup to a backup. So it's basically Freddie, Jack Campbell, Riddick, and then maybe either Hutchinson as well. Yeah. What? Hold on one sec. Hold on. Oh, fucking hair's all itchy. Jeez. We'll, we'll Sorry, cut buddy. It out. We'll cut it out. <laughs> no, it's okay, buddy. Um, yeah, I mean, I think actually from the looks of it, from the sounds of it, I heard that Anderson's on like the, the long-term IR yeah. for like, might be for the rest of the season. So you might just yeah, see him and Riddich uh, sharing the net for till now, till the end of the season, right? Maybe obviously oh, playoffs are going to... For all of you that's doing <laughs> fantasy, good luck. You might have to spend on the IR. So. Yeah, Anderson, that was, yeah. I remember everyone was, like, freaking out when Anderson was on the IR. And then, uh, obviously, Campbell stepped up to the plate and really uh, um, and to- one, stole the spotlight, you know? For one strange reason, people on their fantasy team have been dropping him. Yeah? yeah. Dropping yeah. who, Campbell? Yeah. Really, and it's all because of that one off night, which is kind of strange. Yeah, it was the one against Montreal, and then yeah, there's like the one against Winnipeg too. He got lit up. Yeah, it was like two bad games. I guess everyone freaked out. I mean, it's, again, it's only two games, right? I'm taking the I'm taking the gamble on on him because he's on my fantasy team. So oh yeah, hey, yeah. take take a chance on him. Uh, you just never know. He. Honestly, like, that was a guy, too. Like, I remember watching the draft when he got drafted, and uh, he was a first over start first overall, geez, first round pick of the Dallas Stars in 2010. And uh, I remember seeing him play for the U.S., uh, the World Junior team, and I was like, damn, this guy's going to be sick, you know? Like, and like, fun over fact, like. Fun fact, Campbell and Dubis actually know each other as well. Campbell, Campbell and Dubis? Yeah. Oh, wow. Like uh, away I from the, from, I think it was the Sault Ste. Marie when they were in the Greyhounds. Oh right, yeah, Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds, yeah, because that's where Dubis was before he came to the Leafs, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, no, I mean, I remember seeing Jack Campbell. I was like, damn, this guy's supposed to be like you know a stud goalie, and like you know, Dallas needed goaltending at the time, and he never really panned out. And uh, then yeah, because he was a backup to Quick. And then, yeah, he was he wasn't bad there in LA for as a backup, but like I don't know, he just never really I don't think he got really much of a chance. Out. Yeah, he never really panned out in Dallas, and he never really got a chance in LA, in my opinion. Uh, and then obviously the Leafs got him last uh, winter, I remember before the season shut down. Actually, oh, yeah, with Clifford. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Yeah, oh, yeah, Kyle Clifford. Now he's with the Blues now. So, uh, yeah, buddy, the big red goof. <laughs> yeah. Clifford was okay. He was just one of those, you know, fourth Oh, by the way, clicks. for people in our comments, yeah. do you guys know Clifford, the big red dog? <laughs> then you get the reference. Yeah. Kyle Clifford, the big red dog. I, I, I think, I'm pretty sure they might have called him that, like, as, like, a reference, I think, like, when, uh, when he was with, like, the Kings. I think they did call him, like, something like that. <laughs> Or like with Toronto, I don't remember. I might have, I don't know. Someone could correct me, correct me on that. But um, yeah, my so yeah, my my picks for the finals again. I'm going with the Panthers coming out of the Eastern Conference mm-hmm. and the Colorado. I'm going Colorado in the oh, West. Colorado. Hey, you know that'd be a rematch, a rematch of uh, the Stanley Cup Finals from the 1990s from 1996. Oh. It'll be a 25-year uh, rematch. Really. I wasn't even born. I wasn't even born yet when that. I was born like a month after that. That Stanley Cup final. <laughs> I, was, I was born like two years after that. Yeah, buddy. I I think um I think Florida. I honestly I think the Panthers could win the Stanley Cup. It's they're looking they're looking good. They're looking yeah. really really good. Yeah, they're looking good. Um, speaking of well, not looking good, but the the Jays man. What's uh? <sighs> It's still early. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're they're playing a full yeah. season this year, so it's it's still early. But um, injuries after injuries uh, after injuries. It's the same thing with the Jays every year. 
It's always injuries. I don't know. I don't know what it is with this team. Um, even, I mean, you though could, even though people think they're going to make it to the playoff and go all the way. Yeah, I mean, they on paper they are a World Series contender. I think, I still think they are. Personally, it's just yeah, me too. it's just a matter of staying healthy. Um, some some players have actually again we were talking about players that have been a key contributors at first. Uh, you got Stephen Matz, who's been really great. Obviously, he, uh, Ryu's been fantastic. To Alejandro start Kirk. Yep, he's been great. Uh, Guerrero, Bichette, uh, Gritchuk's oh. really been fantastic this season. Um, they, oh, by the way, how's that signing, George Springer? Huh? I I like that signing. I'm just very anxious to see him play now. It's just he's not playing right now, and they they could use Inter- him. Like I said, injuries. God. Yeah, I know it's getting to them. I, I don't know. Like they're like the 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 the, the consensus of that. I guess you can say is. Um, the Rogers Center turf. This has been the uh, an occurring problem for years. Like the fake turf oh. in Toronto has been the the reason for a lot of the injuries towards the team uh, over the think- years. But they're not playing in Toronto. They haven't played a game in Toronto in yeah. two years, right? It's just I don't know why yeah. they're still having issues. Aren't they playing in <laughs> Buffalo right now? They played Buffalo last year. They're playing in Dunedin, Florida now this year. Oh, playing yeah. Dunedin yeah. Blue Jays. Yeah. So that's that's good. I mean, you got to change it up a little bit, right? But um, yeah. Hey. That we'll player, see how it goes. Like the player development center, or like yeah, team. I saw that, buddy. That was, dude. That was looking pretty fire there. Um, the new, um, it was like yeah, develop. It's like a gym almost, like a like a facility, like a training facility, right? Yeah, basically like that. Yeah, it was pretty pretty awesome. I saw, yeah, they, they oh, man, they're they're getting a new arena though, eh? The, the the Jays, yeah. Well, they're gonna tear. I think they're gonna renovate the Rogers Center. That's what I heard. Oh uh, yeah, I think I heard her thinking about moving to somewhere else, like in Toronto. Yeah, I might have heard that too. They might they might tear down the Rogers Center and move it somewhere else, maybe in the uh, city. Honestly, I don't honestly, care where they put it as long as they still have that dome. Then I'll be happy because yeah, cause that, that that dome makes memories facts bro like it just it's just like helps it just helps so much like you know at, like with with like the rain delays like if it's if it's like pouring rain out yeah you know we don't have to worry about the game getting rained out you just they'll have the dome right you just put it like they put it on a few hours before the game and that's it right but I ho- hopefully way, they don't keep out and, and not do that by the way did you hear the rangers put like what forty thousand people in their home stadium New York Rangers or no Texas, Texas, Texas. Yeah, yeah, Texas. yeah I saw. Yeah, they Texas because of COVID. Yeah, like this. I'm telling you, the U.S. is like pretty much back to normal. Um, yeah, like because everyone's well, vaccinated, I, right? so they're they're vaccinating like millions of people a day. So they're they're all they're pretty much back to normal now. Yeah, yeah like that, people are still getting it, but they're yeah they're just living life again. I I was talking to somebody today, and uh, she said that uh, someone at work and and um. She said that like she has cousins down there and like they're already like going clubbing and not like wearing masks and stuff. They don't have to anymore because like everyone's like they, they everyone's vaccinated and like the herd immunity. So it's then, uh yeah, it's you crazy. know the whole thing. Everything is bigger in Texas. Oh buddy, I'd love to live there. God, it's me too. Honestly, I, I've always liked Texas. I mean, there's a there's a number of reasons. Uh but um the cheap cost of living is one of them for me. I've heard you can you can like Steak. have a really beautiful place and yeah oh the food too, Woo! that's the yeah. that is the number one. I want to get like a big Texas sized steak that's like the size of like a freaking dinosaur. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> the deep, yeah. dude, deep in the heart of Texas. I'm telling you. Yeah, buddy, we'll we'll go to a cowboy bar one time. Eh? <laughs> we'll we'll go we'll go to a yeah, cowboy we'll, bar, a we'll cowboy to, restaurant. We'll go to the Alamo <laughs> too. So hey. Let's do it, buddy. I, I'm I'm all for it. Three again, can't go wrong. I I would. I'm so down to going on a Texas trip. Actually, whenever this is all done, whenever yeah. this stuff is kind of all you know, why uh, this COVID stuff's done, but I'd definitely be down for that. But uh, speaking of um, crappy stuff, I guess uh, <laughs> the COVID. You're saying crappy, but like uh, 
Man, buddy, we were talking about this too, but uh, again, the Sabres uh, extended oh. their playoff list streak. Hey. They were mathematically eliminated from the playoffs last night, and that extended yeah. to 10 years now. Yeah, 10 years. Um, the last really? time they... 10, the, 10 years? Yeah, said 10 seasons, yeah. Uh, let me see. Weird. Uh, let me, let me check honest, that. Yeah, try and look at that. Or we can have one of our viewers like commenting down. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Let me just see if I can find that. But I know the last time they made the playoffs was the 2010-2011 season. And I remember, again, I remember watching the um, the playoffs and they faced Philly in the first round. And, um, uh, yeah, it just fell apart. <laughs> Sabres, Sabres, Sabres. Yep. Sabres have been officially eliminated from the playoff contention for the 10th straight season. So, yeah, they... Even- even drafting Jack Eichel couldn't even save them. I'm telling you, buddy. I don't know what it is. Like, it seems like no matter what they do, it just doesn't work. I don't know if it's a. It's there's definitely like a morale problem with that team because you've heard yeah. players like openly say like things about the coaching staff and the GMs. Like, obviously Jack Eichel's like uh been pretty outspoken about um you know, who, like, the coaches and GMs, and, like, he's contradicting speaking his coaches, and holy shit, it's a, it's a shit show over there. <laughs> speaking of Jack, he's injured right now, and he's on, I think, I, long-term reserve, I think. Yeah, he's getting surgery. He has, like, some, like, like some damaged, like, neck, like, something. There's It's a serious injury, though. I can't, like, let me let me look that up, too. I kind of feel... Um, and he's technically, <laughs> their, he's technically their captain as well. So. Yeah, he is. Yeah, that's gonna be. Um, I think he's getting moved in the off season, though. Yeah, I think so too. It's a neck injury. Yeah, herniated disc in his neck. Oh my god, that's serious. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, that's that's a serious injury. He's gonna be out for a while, recovering from that. But he he didn't have a good season even when he was playing. I think he only had like three goals or something. Like just wasn't looking like in his usual self, you know. Yeah, yeah. Man. Are the Sabres team... worse than Ottawa? Yes, they uh, 100% are worse than Ottawa because Ottawa, at least the Senators have the prospect pool, like the depth in their prospect pool. And like they have a lot of those great prospects on their roster now. It's just they have to be developed. Like, you know, Tim Stutzel and um, yeah, Drake exactly. Batherson. Brady Kachuk, obviously, like they have the the players in the pool. Shane, Pr- I think it was Shane Pinto. Yeah, he played the other day too. He's one of their their good players, prospect uh, players. Um, they even they though, have it, even though but, both of them have shitty owners or something. Yeah, oh Eugene Melnick, he's honestly that guy is such a like such a jackass. Like he he just um since like a man. I remember how long since I started watching hockey. That guy is just such a that guy's such a douche. Like just straight up, like he he just doesn't know how to run a hockey team and like just such a big ego and and uh, you can't and also position a party like that. Also, the that. Uber driver incident. Yeah, with Duchesne and uh, was Chris Tierney, I think, and another player. Yeah, Chris Weidman, I think, was one of them too. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, when they. That says something, eh? When like your players are like saying stuff like that, like about your coaching staff, and like saying like how like 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 they're incompetent they are, and like there was the assistant coach at the time. I don't know who it was, but they were talking about how he runs the power play, and they were like basically laughing at him, saying he doesn't know what the like what the hell he's doing. And I was like, bro, what? like that. Yeah, that is pretty bad. Like, I mean, personally, like a conversation like that should have not been leaked. Um. I honestly, if I was one of those players, I don't know if they did, but I would have taken legal action um, with that because that's like a that's like a private conversation. You don't want anybody hearing like, yeah. you know, like it's just like like, you know, like it's just like when us like, you know, we, we vent about our jobs like, you know, in the past, right, like, right. you know, talk to people, right? Like we vent about like the people we work with or or something like because you just don't think they're good at their job or whatever right or whatever right like it just people what, just what having worse conversation. The, what worse if the uber has cameras as well yeah and like the guy like full-on recorded like the whole last conversation i was like damn bro like that's again that's a confidential like conversation you shouldn't be like that's but again, he, 
That's got to be illegal in like a lot of states and provinces. I mean, I understand they have to film it though, just for like the safety of the driver. But like the actual like audio part, it's a little bit. It's a it's a it's a bit of a touchy one, you know what I mean? It's a sensitive topic, yeah, but, uh, I think. Uh, privacy wise. But uh, yeah, man, I think the Sabers they really just just blow it up. The only players just blow it up completely. The only players they build around at this point, you know Dolan and Co- what? Cousins, Dolan Cousins, it's you know what? Them. Put, oil, put oil around it, grab a match, light and it just, up, and just walk away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just walk away. <laughs> yeah, they're um. Yeah, they're they're in a tough spot. It just it just seems like no matter what they do, um, you they just it doesn't work. Like Jeff Skinner, the Jeff Skinner experiment was good for one season. They still missed Eric the playoffs. Stahl's Eric Stahl didn't really do anything. He's not really playing great with Montreal either. <laughs> He's been bad. Even though he's coughing like mechanically. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been bad, but uh, this year he's getting older right it happens um yeah exactly you know the uh, is, yeah okay. even jordan stall he's kind of declined a little bit too from what i've seen not as good as he used to be but yeah. it's that's part of the game right what happened to the fourth stall wasn't there a fourth stall? Mark Mark stall he's again he's declined too he plays in detroit the fourth one i think his name was jared i don't even think he plays hockey anymore because he wasn't really good enough to Wait, play really? in the nhl yeah <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah. the last time I heard about him was he was playing with Charlotte in Carolina. Yeah, he was he was playing in Carolina's uh, with the Charlotte the Charlotte Checkers. But I think the last time I checked, like I saw like last year, he might have been like retired. But let me let me confirm that. Yeah, it says he's a Canadian former professional ice hockey player who last played for the Edinburgh Capitals. So he's retired now. Let I me guess. guess. Let me guess. Wikipedia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's, yeah, but um, yeah. Anyways, though, like the the Sabers, I think they, they um, like we were saying this the other day too. I think the Pagulas should just sell them and let somebody, because yeah. they own both the Bills and the Sabers, right? They're doing a good job with the the Bills. Let somebody else take the Sabers, sell them off, give them a new culture. It's not working. Whatever they want to do, right? Even. So, even though they hired Kevin Adams, he's like Dude, he's his, not a GM. He's not a good GM. <laughs> Fuck. Those um some of those trades they made, except for the stall one. Now it's looking like a third rounder for stall, how bad he's playing right now. Like pretty even, good trade, but the Montour they, trade and before the uh, season began, they were hyping up Keller Hall. So Yeah, he played he just completely that just blew up in their face he played awful for them now he's playing good for boston so i'm telling you man that's uh that's a tough situation down there in boston but yeah. that's a very tough situation i'm, I'm, I'm sorry not you, boston buffalo sorry <laughs> i bet you the rangers and the islander fans are happy oh yeah oh yeah like, they <laughs> sabers man that's not even that's not that's not even competition for them I know, seriously, like they're they're an embarrassment, man. Like they, I remember the days when I again when I started watching hockey, when the Sabers were one of the always, always one of the best teams in the league. You know, the years they had like uh, Ryan the Miller, uh, Briere, Drury, the Dominator. Yeah. Well, I was too, well, I was too young to watch back then. Uh, I oh, think yeah. by the time he left, I was like still a youngin, but. Um, you know, the guys, you know, like Breer, Daniel Breer, Chris Drury, uh, Ryan Miller back then, too. Oh, Ryan uh, Miller. They had, they had fantastic teams. I think they won the President's Trophy one season, and they still lost. Uh, they lost to Ottawa in the freaking conference <laughs> final. I still remember that game. That one, I really wanted Buffalo. It was 2007 when Anaheim won. I remember watching that third round, and the second I heard Ottawa was facing Buffalo... I was like, ooh, the Sabres are going to have so much trouble against Ottawa because they played so bad against them that year. And especially, I was like, especially with Alfredson on Ottawa one time. Yeah, the, remember the the Heatley Spezza Alfredson line? That was like the best NHL. That was the best line in the NHL at one point. That was oh, phenomenal. The cash line. 
Yeah, it was, dude. They were they were dominant for so long, and uh, I knew that I had a feeling they were gonna lose. And it would it would have been cool to see Buffalo and and Anaheim in the final. That would have been a fantastic Stanley Cup final. And Ottawa that... sh- shouldn't have been there. They they played like shit. <laughs> they played like shit. Uh, they haven't recovered from that too. So, um, speaking of not recovering though, uh, I don't think Ben Askren's gonna recover from that. Uh, from that knockout the other day. Oh, 59 yesterday. seconds was it? Or was yeah, it? 59 seconds. Yeah, it wasn't even one minute. I'm telling okay. you, I, you, you did. I, I think you, you didn't buy the the pay per view, right? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Because I heard that was one of the worst pay per view events like in yeah, the history of like boxing. Straight up, like I'm not I kidding, buddy. Too. Yeah, buddy. Like I'm not kidding. Like it was one of the worst. Like apparently it was like two, three hours of like music before they. They, they they showed the event. I'm like, what's the point of that? That's so dumb. They what? had like they were, Doja what? Cat they and fucking Justin the, Bieber. The way in video on Jake's phone yeah. YouTube video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. the way. Oh yeah, the way in video with uh yeah when he's like doing the whole, all like the McGregor stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he's trying way. to be Connor. He's trying to be like Connor. By the way, for us Toronto fan, I just saw a meme. Yeah. When- you want to know what Carano and Ben Askren has in common? Yeah, what's what is it? <laughs> they got knocked down the first round. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a, that's pretty funny. It's kind of true. <laughs> yeah. It's I'm okay. Still hey, okay. May, maybe this year might be the year for Toronto to finally break that curse. I you never still did, have I still have nightmares. <laughs> oh, to 2013 when they yeah. blew the four to one lead. <laughs> I still have nightmares. And yeah, I, that was shit. That was shit. <laughs> Straight up. And I had nightmares from last year as well. Oh yeah, they. I don't know, man. They they played so good in that game six. I think it was a game six uh, against Columbus, and then they well, just. It was like a Uno reverse after an Uno reverse. Yeah, like they 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 made that crazy comeback with like less than ten minutes left in the game, and then just to play like crap in that 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 game seven. And get shut mm-hmm. out and like not even show up. I'm like, wow, that's pathetic. <laughs> so and that's not even the first round. That was like the qualifying round. Yeah, it was a plan. So it was game five, actually. Sorry, not game seven. Game five. I was like, I was like, we're better than this. I know. Seriously, like, I was surprised too. I was like, wow. You you would think like you take all that momentum from that game that game four, right? And you'd be like, yeah, we're gonna bring that into the next game and we're gonna play hard but pff, they even show up <laughs> but yeah that fight was that fight though yeah horrible. i can't believe buddy i can't believe people actually paid 40 bucks for that and i was oh whoops this oh yeah these are my tickets the other day i got pulled over <laughs> last week like a week and a half ago i got two tickets when I, so when what's yeah. worse, what's worse is... i was driving to work and no what's worse is Logan Paul's brother got stunned at WrestleMania. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, that looked fake though. That looked fake. He, it was. I don't mean. I mean that in, like the most respectful way possible. But like, he did get he did get like dummied there. But like, he kind of fell like a little bit too hard. I don't know. It's just me though. To be honest, that was, <laughs> that was his overselling was kind of. Eh. Yeah. Uh, it, so, so. That's part of it, though. Yeah, that's part of it, though. It's the, the wrestling. That's, uh, yeah. But um, yeah, man. Like I just, I, I honestly, like I was saying to you about the Ben Askren fight, though. Like I think that was people are starting to say it was rigged. Um, I, I, I'm I also heard this. I also heard this punching video was fake as well. Which which punching video? The I think I just saw. I don't know where I saw it, but I heard it was. Was it the one when uh, they were like doing one of like the the weigh ins, and like yeah. Jake like put like or he like pushed like Jake pushed him and it looked fake or something like that. Yeah, people I were think. saying that too. People, there's so many theories behind that. Like people were saying that um, like Askren deliberately like lost that fight, and he got paid like yo he got five hundred thousand dollars. He got half a million dollars from that fight. What? Yeah. Jake Jake got six hundred and ninety and he got five hundred K. Plus he gets a um, cut of the pay per view sales, right? So does Jake. So you know what? I would, I would rather watch K plus. I would rather watch that's a Conor McGregor versus 
Floyd Mayweather, May- Mayweather versus or yeah, I would rather watch Connor and Mayweather than Jake and Ben. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that. I mean, the Connor fight was pretty. Like the Connor and Floyd fight was kind of shit too. Um, Connor hey, just. Connor just. Um, I mean, he went the he went the distance with him, but like. I don't know. It, it was a like. I mean, Connor looked so like out of form. Um, you can tell it just wasn't. He wasn't comfortable with that. You know, like he's just not a boxer. He's not a boxer. Like he. I bet you he's been drinking a lot of Guinness. Oh, did you see that fight? Oh, Ooh, excuse me. Fuck. Um, did you see that fight in January? Him and Dustin Poirier. Oh. He got knocked out. I, I that fight I actually paid for the pay per view. That was actually a good event. Um, really? Yeah, dude. I saw. I I was shocked. I was like going into that fight. I was like, yeah, Connor's gonna win. You know, uh, but but because like seven years before, like like Connor like kicked his ass, and I was like, ah, you know, yeah, Connor's Connor, right? And oh, and he changes a fighter, and he got so much better. Thing. Kicked his, his ass. Pro- his promo skills is basically similar than Ric Flair. Oh yeah, they all. They all kind of um, have go by that kind of like uh, showman, um, you know what I mean? That whole showman thing. Like, I mean, Connor's a great showman. Jake Paul's a great showman. Look at him. He's already sold two great big fights. Three, actually. Three or four. Yeah, three or four. Even going with the, when he fought the Deji and uh, there was the other yeah. guy too. Um, yeah, no, like that's the thing with, with, the, with the whole fighting industry. Like the whole fight yeah. thing is like the fight game, uh, you, you have to be a good seller. You know, you got to be a showman too. You got to be a good fighter if you want to be successful, but you got to be a good showman. Uh, it all like, comes with it. It's part of the like script. The WWE. Yeah. Oh, well, exactly. They're in it too, right? Like they're, they're part of that whole thing too. Yeah. It's, uh, you got, you got to be a, you got to be a good showman. You got to be able to sell. That's it. Um, if you could sell a fight, then you're going to, you're going to make money, right? Um, yeah, exactly. Like even, um logan paul there's he's supposed to fight floyd mayweather but they keep on postponing the fight um which is yeah you didn't hear about that no i didn't yeah logan's logan's supposed to it's an exhibition match but yeah they agreed to a fight it was supposed to be in february and then it got postponed and uh now it was supposed to be in april and it's still haven't heard anything they they might just keep pushing it or it's not i don't know if it's getting enough hype as people want it to just like how Ben Askren and Jake, they were able to get the hype right around it. Yeah. I think it's not getting the hype and people are just like, really? Like a, a YouTuber is going to fight like the best boxer in the world, like that kind of whole thing. But I would like love a, to see it. It's basically like a C-rated movie, kind of. Yeah. I personally, I love Logan Paul as like a, a content creator and like, I yeah. mean, he's, he, but uh, yeah, I know he did what he even did. Even though he went family friend, friendly as well too. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, you know, like, I kind of, you know, the world kind of forgave him for what he did, like, years ago with that uh, Japanese forest video. And he's a good guy. He's, yeah, that, it was bad. Don't get me wrong. It was bad. But he learned from his mistakes. He he's yeah, owned, exactly. owns it. And he's he's become better. He's become a better person from that moment. It was, uh, kind of, I don't mean, that, like, I don't mean this in a bad way, but, like, I think it was good that happened to him because it made him a better person, you know? So yep. sometimes it just takes, like, a really bad moment like that to make you better right so um but yeah like <laughs> honestly man like that that asked the ben Askren fight and the uh, jake paul there i'm so happy i didn't pay for that pay-per-view buddy yes, like man. i was telling you like my girlfriend and i were just hanging out down here just finding something to watch last night and um i saw the 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 pay-per-view thing on the playstation store i was like oh i was like do you want to watch this she's like no not really i was like oh, all right and then I, after we put on another, we put on Taken, which was, uh, I do not regret that decision. It was fantastic. Oh, Taken. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. And um, I was checking Twitter while, like, you know, before we were watching the movie. And I just saw people were so pissed at, like, the pay-per-view. And, like, um, I was like, yeah, okay. You know, I was like, we made a good decision. I was like, good. You, I was like, she 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 made the right decision. Uh, it's good she kind of, like, was like, no, nah, I don't want to watch that. Because, you know, what? 40 bucks for that whatever that was <laughs> you know what for our viewers if you guys don't watch taken or taken two what are you doing with your life yeah. 
the Cheers. first two <laughs> the first two were really good the third one was like meh the story was okay but it's not traditional like what like, like what the other ones are taken you know? like yeah. famous 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 Liam Neeson quote like everybody should recite that as like a prayer facts bro yeah like the third one wasn't really taken like like nobody got to like nobody was taken you know what I mean? Like, I, I watched the third one. I was like, the story's good, but, like, nobody was taken. So it doesn't really make sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one more, okay, one more thing before we cap it off. But uh, you were telling me this, actually. I didn't. I had no clue about this. But uh, yeah, I just the Super League well. soccer in Europe. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah that was kind I of literally cool. just saw this, like, a few hours ago. Yeah, like we were saying, like, they just announced this today um so i'm gonna read this article here well part of it a dozen of the world's richest and most storied soccer clubs on sunday announced that they are forming a breakaway european club competition that would if it comes to fruition upend the structures economics and relationships they have bound global soccer for their century super talks so uh so it'll cl- the, the teams will include Real Madrid and Barcelona in Spain, Manchester United and Liverpool in England, Juventus and AC Milan in Italy. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like AC Milan. I'm good with that. Confirmed their plans late Sunday. They said they plan to add a at least three more founding members. That's kind of cool. I, I, it's from the sounds of it, it's like almost like a competition with Champions yeah, League. But yeah. people feedback wasn't really great because. Really? What's gonna happen to the smaller clubs as well? Yeah, because like, from what I heard, feedback weren't really great because of the smaller clubs from like from all around Europe. Yeah, because it might be affected by that. So, That's but true. yeah, who knows exactly? I think that is kind of gonna because you know you have like the Europa League, which is one. Right, and they yeah. a lot again a lot of the smaller teams, and then you have some of the smaller teams that go into Champions League. They qualify, right? So yeah, I can see how that's gonna hurt some of the the other smaller teams. I, I, that makes sense. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Maybe like next next year, maybe 2022. That might be in effect. I think that's what it said. Uh, that's that's yeah. interesting. I'm surprised because again, Champions League is like obviously it's like, like the, the king of thing. kings. Yeah, it's like the king of like European soccer. That's like like even I I don't watch as much European soccer as much as I used to, but um Champions League I still try to tune in, especially the finals. I try to at least watch the finals game. Um for me though, I don't know about you buddy, but uh I don't really like European soccer as much anymore. It's just again, it's always like the same the same yeah, system. Exactly. It's the best players leaving the small teams, going to the big teams, winning with them. Sure. It's just the same back shit. In, back in the days, I was a big man United fan because of Wayne Rooney. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Wayne Rooney, yeah. I liked Wayne Rooney. Yeah, he was fantastic. Um, I mean, but I've always I, been an AC Milan guy, but but then I've I been like falling off. But yeah. I started watching some TFC games anyway. Yeah, I like the. I mean, the MLS is not as um great quality as the the European soccer, but. I like it because you know, like they have TFC has great good players and it's a good even it's fun to even watch. though people, even though watch. people have been saying for like the MLS has had promotion and relegation, but it probably yeah. might not work. It probably yeah. might not work. Or, or I don't. Th- I don't think they have enough teams to even really do that, right? Because they don't have. Or I don't think like they have they, a lower tier. That's what they do. Unless if they can do MLS, USL, NASL, but it probably might not yeah. be a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. That that'd be a tough one because I don't like you said. Like they have like the US soccer league there, the lower tier, maybe. But um, I don't know. That's 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 uh, yeah, that's 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 an interesting one because. I find the MLS too is very like North Americanized with how the game is, like yeah, how the, yeah. they go with like the standings and whatever. It's very like North it's American. Basically, like it's basically franchised. Yeah, it's basically exactly. like, like copying like the rest of the 
Like, like, I need to be BIA and then the NFL. Hmm. It's basically like copying that kind of format. Mm-hmm. Exactly, yeah. They're copying, like, a, the, the major four, like, the big four in North America. They're just copying them, so, yeah. Oh, all right, buddy. Well, I, I think this is going to, this is, uh, we're going to cap it off here, guys. Uh, hey. Jacob, Jacob, again, you're a new co-host, buddy. Um, hey. For joining us. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Like you were saying, big things. We're saying big things coming, buddy. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, and, oh, buddy. yeah, by the way, to cap this off, guys, like, subscribe, maybe even comment. Yeah, for sure, buddy. Well, yeah, man. Well, this, it's been a fun one, guys. Um, Again, thank we thank all our viewers for joining us and uh, got our great new co-host here. Very very knowledgeable about sports. I'm happy we got a guy like yeah. that now. Yeah, salute. All right, guys. Uh, it's Project Twenty Four, and we are signing off.